Bill, the new chief engineer for television station X, was hired immediately following completion of the station's new tower structure. The television antenna is in place, waveguide runs complete, and they're now on the air. Everything is shiny and new, and Bill is excited because they've completed the proof of performance for the transmission, transmission system, filled the appropriate paperwork, and received authorization from the SEC to begin broadcasting. For over a week now, they've been transmitting programming without a glitch. Until the station completes their new studio facility, they're operating out of the transmitter building. Nothing complicated, just taking the network feed off satellite and rebroadcasting it, along with the required station identifications, a few commercials, and public service announcements as filler. As an affiliate for the network, they get paid for every hour they broadcast network programming. Steve is the master control operator for Station X, coming in for his shift. Hey, Bill, look what I just found in the parking lot. You found this where? In the parking lot. It's just lying there. That's not good. This is one of the lightning rods off the, off the top of the antenna. Keep an eye on things. I'm going to go take a look. Bill immediately goes outside and performs a visual inspection of the tower and antenna. Since the tower is nearly a thousand feet tall, he can't see the remaining lightning rods, but he does notice a strange vibration in the tower structure itself. Looking up on the tower, he can just make out a slight twisting in the structure that appears to run up and down the tower. He can also hear a distant but muted clang each time the wave reaches the top of the tower and starts back down. Hi Mark, this is Bill. I'm at the transmitter site and I'm a bit worried. There's something strange happening with the tower and we need to get someone out here right away to figure out what's going on. It's weird. Steve just found a lightning rod that fell off the antenna. Thank God it didn't hit a car or one of us coming in for work. That's not the real thing that worries me, though. I'm concerned something's going on with the tower structure itself. This is one of the first towers in the country to use rectangular waveguide, and that's a pretty heavy, heavy wind load for a tower this size. I want to get the tower com company up here right now before something else breaks off. I don't know what's causing it. There's a pretty stiff breeze right now. But we've had windy days before, and I didn't notice this problem. It's interesting that the breeze is out of the northeast, though. I think that's the first time we've been on site since the wind came from that quarter. Okay, I'll give them a call. If I think there's any safety risk, though, I'm going to pull the plug and get everyone out. Come on, Mark. I know it will hurt us if we shut down, but I'm not going to risk my life, much less Steve's, so someone can watch a sitcom tonight, even if it is the top-rated show. If I think there's any chance this tower is coming down, and I'm not saying it is, I think I'm going to get everybody out of here. Thanks, Mark. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, this is Bill at Station X. we got a weird thing going on with our tower out here, and I think you better get somebody up to the site to take a look. Two hours later, Joe, a tower rigger that helped build the tower and install the antenna and waveguide, shows up at the site. He's already taken a look around when he comes in to talk to Bill. Hey, Joe. What's going on with our tower? Heck if I know. I've never seen anything, any kind of movement like this before. It appears to be a regular vibration of some sort, but... I don't know. I checked the plumb of the tower, and she's plumb all right. But I noticed two of the four lightning rods are gone. Nothing wrong with the guys or anchors. Everything's in place and where it should be, but this uh, movement's something strange. Um, I'm going to call the company and talk to one of the engineers first thing in the morning. Joe, there's one thing I need to know. Is there any chance that this tower or a piece of it's going to be coming down on us? I don't think there's much chance for that. Uh, if the lightning rod breaks off, I think the concrete on the top of the building should protect you. 
Yeah, but I don't think that concrete's going to protect us if a piece of the tower comes down. <laughs> this tower were to come down, uh, I don't think you want to be anywhere within the radius of the guy anchors, believe me. I'm going to go out and keep my eye on things for a while, and uh, I'll check back in with you. We rejoined Bill several hours later. Hey, boss, I just uh, made some coffee. Want a cup? That's a good idea. I think I'll call Joe and see if he wants to get a cup. Joe, Bill here. We got a fresh pot of coffee brewing. Want to come up and warm up for a while? Okay. Should I dig out a clean cup? No, nah, he says he wants to stay down there and keep an eye on things. Can't say that I blame him, though. Frankly, I'm wondering if we ought to get out of here. Think I should shut everything down and clear out of here? No, I promised Mark that I wouldn't pull the plug unless I really thought it was a threat. I think Joe's being straight with this, but it seems strange that he won't even come up for a cup of coffee, don't you think? Yeah.